So here's the problem we gotta solve. We need to be able to tune in a TV station using our production equipment in a way that allows for one of our ministries to view a weekend event on TV. Tuning a TV is really no big deal if all you're doing is watching on a TV because it has a TV tuner built in. But what we're dealing with here is we're trying to get it out to a projector or other monitors within the building and TV tuners are just not built into those. So here's what we've done. I picked up a uh, device called a HD Home Run. Uh, this thing is a TV tuner itself, it has a place for an antenna, um, a network cable and some power. We plug it into our network and hopefully, if all goes well, we'll be able to actually just use a computer to tune into the TV channel we need. And then of course the computer can be hooked to the projector to give us our output. So let's see if we can make this thing work. All right, so what I did is I picked up this antenna. It's a just a really flat panel. It's got a coax connector at the bottom and inside of the packaging, it's got like a little amplifier. We're gonna find a place for this antenna and this will be a start to the project. All right, so when I opened up the package for the antenna, I found several accessories. There were two um, coax cables, different lengths, and there was also this little device here. Uh, evidently, this is an amplifier and this small little section of the amplifier is what makes all the difference. In this case, it needs to be plugged into power, so I've got a little USB power adapter and I've now mounted the antenna I'm just using an under counter option. Uh, the antenna then connects into this little power amp and out of the little power amp, it goes up to the HD home run device. So we're gonna plug all that up now and see where we get. Okay, last step that I can see as far as installation goes is just to make the final connections to the HD home run. All right, so after making all the connections, I found that it had a flashing red light, which indicated to me that it wasn't connected to our network. It'll take a couple minutes to get all that connection made, uh, but once we've got that settled, we should be able to go into configuration. Let's check out the configuration on the computer. First step, we're gonna go to my.hdhomerun.com. From here, we can scroll down and actually select which device we're gonna be using. In this case, we're on our computer. Um, we can follow the steps as shown here. So connect the antenna, which we've done, connect to our router, which we've also done, and then download the free live TV app. So we're gonna go and choose that step. It's got a link that we can choose to download it from here. Now that it's downloaded, we're gonna open up the app. And these are standard installation instructions. Double click to install, same as usual. So now that all the hardware has been installed, we can then open up the HD Home Run app so that we can watch those channels. When we open up the HD Home Run app, it automatically loads whatever previous TV station was playing. In this case, I'm just gonna blur the screen because I'm not really sure how copyright stuff works. But uh, you can see that we are able to tune channels. And over here on the side, you can actually select a different channel if you'd prefer and it will automatically jump to that. Um, some channels are in HD, some channels are not, um, but just for the sake of what we're trying to accomplish, uh, you can see we can tune the channels here. This output now can just be sent to our projector through our video switcher or whatever means. Um, since it's visible on the computer, it can now be visible in our room. Any of the sound coming out of that computer can also be played through our sound system as well. Looks like this was a success, so um, we'll see how we can use this in the future.